All right, everyone, Louis Porcino, Man Over Market, and this is the recap on February 2nd. Well, another big volatile day today, big volatile range, which is nice for trading, uh, but actually we haven't broken out of any of the ranges. I mean, we're actually, um, you know, trading in a 4,000-point range, which is okay because we seem to hit both sides of the range. Um Today, uh, we went down and we made a low right here. We made a low of, uh, 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 was that 1973.75? So we didn't take the low out of uh, right here. So, you know, that low is 1970 a quarter back on the 16th. And we didn't take out either one of these highs of yesterday or the day before. So um, I think post market, we may close a. a 2018 may get a little rally tonight to 2022 but uh, the market is strapped in you know inside of this range and uh, it keeps inching closer towards 61 half but uh, it's it's uh, uh, you know it seems the the bulls don't give up they just don't give up today the Nasdaq was the leader as far as I was concerned um, at one time all the markets were uh, turned negative and then uh, there was a rally, and the market chopped around. And then uh, uh, the only one that did not um, chop around was the Nasdaq. Nasdaq kind of got a little bit up on the day, sat there, and then at the end of the day, it rallied and uh, finished up uh, 39. And we had a big rally in the, in the spoofs. I mean, we were down 2,000 or whatever that was at the one point, uh, and then uh, we ended up uh, rallying. 26 but we're, we're in a range I still don't think we're out of trouble as far as I'm concerned um, I think it's still going down that at 61 half but right now we just got to trade the range here's a day a day pivot I mean here it is 73 75 here's that number we keep talking about and that's uh, 25 26 half which is the 50% retracement um, and look where we keep stopping right about here 2020 all right, during the day. So we're in this range from basically uh, 2022 now down to 1870. So 2022 to down to 1870. Um, and the market uh, is getting ready to make uh, a move because the range is contracting too. So when you get some contraction, it'll start moving. So here is uh, a, the, the day uh, activity. As you can see, all right, we opened up. We opened up at 8:30 right here. Okay, it was immediate sell-off. Okay, we went down and we made uh, the low. Okay, and then uh, from 9:30 on, the market just kind of rallied back up here to 2004. Okay. This is actually where the market fell out of bed on Friday. Went back off Friday. This is where we, we fell out of bed. I had put that, that zone in there, that channel. We went back down, took out the five-minute pivot. All right. And this is the equivalent channel for this. This is a, 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 a formula that I put together every day. And, um, and from here... Couldn't you know? We took out the five-minute pivot, and the pivot ended up becoming uh, a target up on the upside. And the only one that did not take out the five-minute pivot was the Nasdaq, and the other uh, uh, in indexes followed. Uh, the Nasdaq uh, stayed strong, and we came back. We took our five-minute pivot. I, I posted that uh, uh, it doesn't mean anything taking out this pivot here. I took it out at 1990 half, unless we take the highs out. And once we took out the highs, it, it was straight up for the last 40 minutes up to 2019. So, um, giving you a lot of opportunity, a lot of volatility. Got I can't get married to a position. I had everybody short this morning. Um, at the bottom, I posted out, be careful, it's oversold. And uh, I think most people liquidated. I got a lot of uh, uh, high fives on the, on the, on the Twitter. So, um Anyway, let's stay in touch. Tomorrow we'll have uh, another day. I think Eddie will be back. Let me give you a view of the profile, what it kind of looked like today. Um, 
So we'll have to deal with all these single prints now overnight. But the market pretty well filled in, okay? Kind of filled in. All these are all pretty solid filled in, except down here. This doesn't look finished to me. Look at this. So this is telling me we're going to we're going to head back there at some point. So that doesn't look finished to me. So you got to uh be prepared to go on both sides of the market and be nimble. Jack, be nimble. Jack, be quick. All right. What else we got here? All right. The bonds, uh, once again, I think, uh, let's see, link stock gained 3%, LinkedIn. And I, look at that. I got some earnings that came out today. But I think they were saying that this was the highest Let's see, U.S. stocks rally close, oil surges. Anyway, I wanted to point out that the close in the bonds is like the highest close uh, in a couple, you know, like three or four years. Um, anyway, I found that I'll, I'll retweet it, look at it, prefer not tweet it. Twitter. So um, I had the bull bear zone up for us today at 151.01. And, uh, you know, we took it out, went down, traded, you know, within the opening range today. Okay. And kind of just stayed inside value. I think there's a lot of profit taking happening on the bonds. And uh, that's where, we're, that's what happened with, with the bonds today. Um, still not ready to sell those yet. I think the bonds are, uh, you know, I think the, I think the yield's 187 on the 30 by 30 year bond. So um, here's gold. Uh, gold seems to be retracing, and I think uh, it's you know the gold's uh, retracing because of the response to um, uh, you know the flight to quality is seems to be now oil is recovering a little bit, and I think uh, gold is uh, retracing. But there was a you know there's a big big. Uh, uh, range the day before low of uh, 1,259 half. Okay, we never made it back to the opening range today, but we did trade outside of value. We had our bull bear zone at 2080 uh, and 80 cents. It it uh, tested it, got a little bit above it, and then it sold off right from there. So uh, still a little negative on the gold, um, unless uh, we can go back up and. Uh, Take out this uh, 1,285 area, okay? And then uh, oil, oil, uh, you know, look, you know, oil has made a big move, and it's going to have these these retracements. There's too many gaps up there on the top, all right? Oil today wasn't, not, you know, uh, wasn't able to get back inside value. It stayed above our bull bear zone of uh, 147, or 47.10, 47.10, uh, Let's see, this went through it at, uh, that was 4 o'clock in the morning, and we never even went back and tested that. So oil uh, made a, a high of $50.56. I think that what we're going to see in the oil is if you take a look at the the profile, let me grab up the ES profile. I mean, I'm sorry, the CL profile. Oh, uh, Sorry. I know I have one around here. Well, anyway, there's uh, there's gaps up at the top, like up to $53. So we got to watch out for the gaps up at the top. And I think uh, that's what you're seeing in oil, that oil is going to head back to the top because of the uh, gaps up there. 53, I'm looking for $53. I think oil is probably going to, you know, stay in a range between 53, you know, I mean, I'm sorry, between $70 and $40 now. That's what we're looking for in the next couple of years here. So that's another one that's going to be kind of range bound. So um, just recapping, um, after we made our lows around 930, the market started rallying, rallied up to 2004. We broke back down to the five-minute pivot, okay? And then uh, after that, uh, we, we had, we had uh, you know, the five-minute pivot go short this morning, and we covered down in here. Then um, the five-minute pivot went um, long, 
all right? And then uh, after that, it uh, came back down and went short again, and then it went long again. So it's been getting ripped around a little bit. But I've been, I've been uh, putting out really good commentary, and then I, I, I had said it when it went through here, if it takes out the highs, then it means something, and it certainly did. It went from 2004 up to 2018. So, uh, again, once a lot of volatility, I still think we're stuck in a range, and uh, that's what I'm looking for the next couple of days or the next couple of weeks. So good luck. Talk to you later, and uh, keep following us on Twitter. Bye.